Hey songwriters, welcome back to the studio. It's Dean and today I'm really pumped because I'm showing you how to get a big ambient piano sound using stock instruments and plugins in GarageBand. After that, I'm going to show you how to morph that piano into this distant, muted, intimate piano sound. And lastly, I'm going to show you how to save these sounds as presets in your library so that you can pull them up in any project with one click. So let's dive in. All right, so I'm here inside of a blank project and obviously we're gonna need to add a new track. So we're gonna click the plus button and add a software instrument track. And then of course, we need to go over to our menu, hit piano and click on our only option, which is the Steinway Grand Piano. And now what we're gonna do is shape the sound of this piano a bit using its parameter adjustments down here. If you don't see this window, hit B on your typing keyboard and it will come up and make sure you're on controls as opposed to EQ. So I'm not asking you to understand everything that's going on. I'm just saying follow what I do and you'll get the same sound that I have. So we're gonna take our lows and turn them up to a two. We're gonna take our highs, turn them down to 11. We're gonna take compression and turn it up to one. And then here is where our real sound comes from. We're gonna take delay and turn it up to 10. Ambience, turn it up to 10. Then I'm gonna take reverb and turn it over to two. And now let's test this sound out. So cool, right? So now we have this big, powerful ambient piano sound that we can add into the context of a project and give it some oomph and some power like this. Keep on on your head Keep on lifting your eyes up high you will see him coming You will see him split the sky All right, so now let's talk about how to morph this piano and give it a more distant and muted feel. It's not very hard. We're gonna go down here to our parameters again. I'm gonna take the ambience up to about 12 o'clock. I'm gonna take the reverb down to about three o'clock and then we're gonna do a really cool move here. Check this out. We're gonna go over to our plugins menu, hit the drop down menu, look for a blank slot. I'm gonna open that up, go down to reverb and choose platinum verb. And now within the plugin, I'm actually gonna use a preset. So I'll click up here and I'm gonna go down to church. And then lastly, we're gonna go over to EQ and make two small moves. We're gonna turn on the high pass filter and just simply take this dot up to 50. Then we're gonna turn on the low pass filter and this is a big move. We're gonna take this pink dot all the way down to 500. And now let's test out this sound. So stinking cool. I love the way this piano sounds and there's so many uses for it. It could be used in an emotive pop song, in an indie song, it could be used in lo-fi or trap. There's so many uses. So now the last thing I wanna show you is how to save this sound as a preset in your library so that you don't have to redo this anytime you wanna use the sound in a project. It's very simple. All you have to do is go down here to save and you can actually type in the name Distant Piano hit save, and now if you look under your top choice, user patches, you'll see distant piano right here. So if I wanna use this sound in a totally different project and I don't wanna do all this work again, I simply hit user patches, click on distant piano, and boom, I'm ready to go with that piano sound. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope this was helpful. I hope you're getting really excited about making cool music with these sounds. Leave a comment below if you learned something really cool or if you have a question and I will catch you in the next video.